Hello, this is Michael again. Today is March 29, 2014. So today I will tell you a story about my latest gadget. It's a Flurk. Yeah, the Flurk is a little USB dongle which allows you to remote control your media center computer with any remote, with any infrared remote. Here it is up close, you see, very nice and nifty. On this side is the uh, uh, surface of the logic board and it's a flurk. You just put it into the USB port of any computer. Yep, cost about $20, took about a week here to arrive and uh, you can order this stuff at flurk.tv. All right, in order to make it work, you have to connect it to your computer, to your home media center. All right, let's do that. And here is my old trusty media center. Wrong way. So I put it in there. I'm using this Flurk in combination with my XPMC uh, home media center. So I will now try to use it. Here's my remote. Point to the computer, nothing happens, doesn't talk. So in order for the Flurk to uh, do its job, to be a receiver for your remote control, you have to program it first. And in order to do that, you have to download a little program from the uh, Flurk.tv website. There are multiple screens here, for example, this is just the uh, basic screen. Yeah, you can also have the XBMC screen, which is a little bit more complex, but the program is really easy. So let's do it for the uh, simple remote, just up and down, left and right and enter. All right, as I said, now we have to program it. I will program this flurk with this rather basic uh, Samsung remote control. All right, so now it's asking me to press a button to be paired with up. So I press on my remote. Here is up. And now it wants to have the button to, to be paired with left. I press that. Now the button down. I press that. Now the button left. Uh, yeah, right, I mean. <laughs> And I press that, and now the center button, the enter button. All right, and now it wants the button to be paired with back. So let's do the return. Okay, congratulations, you're all done. So as I said, this was the basic one. There is also something more complex. What we can, what you can do. Yeah, here is for example the XBMC layout. You see, a little bit more complex, but still very easy to do, very easy. So, all right, I will now put the Flurk back into my media center and let's see if it works. So, as you can see, I connected the programmed Flurk to my Super Duper media center. And let's see if we can now control our XBMC interface. Let's see, videos. Nice. This is just a standard background I have here right now. I tried some other ones, but they are kind of uh, very playful to say the least. Okay, I'm using my remote now. Here it is. All right, let's go to the right. There it is. Movies. You see, recent movies I have on the machine. TV shows, no TV shows. Yeah, let's go back there, videos, and let's go down to files. Yeah, what do we have here? TV shows watched. Let's go up to DVDs, and here, and go down. Ah, you see, there it is, A Beautiful Mind, A Late Quartet, Single Man, A Woman in Berlin, About Time, all good things, all the King's Men, Sean Penn, Amelia, American Hustle. 
Yeah, this is a great movie, yep. So guys, you see, it works, it works very well. I press the return button and we go back to the main menu. Yeah, also pictures is here. Here's the weather. Let's see how the weather is in Los Angeles. Uh, right now it's here in Los Angeles, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Sunny with a little bit of clouds. And the forecast for the next couple of days. Sunny. Wow. It's always sunny Los Angeles. Except on Tuesday. So it's raining. Alright friends, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, introduction to Flurk. A wonderful little device. When you have a media center, you should really think about getting this Flurk. Alright, have a wonderful day and see you at my next video. Bye bye.